it seems like to me yeah. to better her relationship. We're not with jealous him. of her kids. She has three kids. He did a beautiful thing for us. Why can't he do a beautiful he, thing for somebody else's kids? They deserve to have so a father figure that. in their life, and I think. Okay. All right. I would imagine for Jackie, this is going to be very difficult. Let's hear what John and his girlfriend Jackie have to say. John and Jackie, come on out. Uh huh. See, some people for, some people against. John, you've been listening backstage. How does it make you feel? to hear your daughter say those things about your girlfriend. I mean, what, I, life is full of problems, but this must be very difficult this for you. This is a hard problem, okay? Um, I'd like to say in front of everybody here, okay? I love these girls deeply. There is nothing more important in my life, okay? Um, it rips me to the bone, okay, to know that they have a problem because I am now finding some happiness, okay? I've, been, I've made them That's both priority it. one in my life. Well, talk to your daughter. She's, okay. she's obviously... I've made you both priority I've one. I've told okay? this woman on the phone, and I've told you, I want nothing more than for you to be happy. So and then it's wrong. You don't call. You don't write. You don't do that anything anymore. But that has nothing to do with things, her. No, Dad. Then why is it why is before she came along? You've had numerous girlfriends, and none of them have ever gotten in the way. But all of a sudden, she comes along. This is my me. first now serious but relationship. But he loves us too, Jack. Why does it gotta be all about you? Why can't it be? I don't understand why it's gotta be all about her. No, but you got you stop showing that you love her. Why can't it be about everybody? Not true. You stopped expressing love to us because of her. Not true. Well, did you stop okay, before so you forgot the phone number, right? Not did, true. You forgot you, the address? Did you forget the address and the phone number? And you no, forgot? I've got did you forget it. all I've that? Got it. Well, then how can and I know? And she wants to sit up there and she goes, "You're telling me, me, tell me on the phone. Oh, I want John to spend Christmas with his kids. I want him to be in the house. But then you come but up there and you you're telling me she says she don't want you there. But you no, have to you got to answer the phone every five minutes to check on her. All right, all right. We we can't all talk at once. Take it take it calmly. You told me, John. Do you think the girls are just having a hard time adjusting to sharing you? They say it isn't that. Do you think it's that? I think it's they think they're going to get less from me because I now have someone else involved in People my life. People don't think yes. something without having, yes. having it brought to them. And I'm not I gonna think, think something if I haven't seen anything. I think I, I think I have enough love within me that I can love them all. I don't see where there's a problem with that. Can I, That's, thank you, why don't yes. you show it then? Why don't you show it? Can I just say you something? Know, something words are easier than right, you're all talking. Here? You're Excuse all talking me. at no, once. Hold on. She called in. Excuse yeah, but would right. I show up? Right. All right, because would I show up? Because you love Jack. Of course. Jack is everything. I want to get everything. something here. Wait a minute. Happy. Guys, hold on. You say it's not Jackie, then what's the reason why you stopped calling your daughters all Thank of a sudden? You. Thank you. Thank you. Why did everything stop? Okay. Did you tell? And did you tell? No, not, not the, I was not there the whole time. Right. Did you tell your mother this? Um, yes, you did. And he he said it was a mistake. I didn't mean to touch her. Okay. All right. Now, shh, let's hear. You know, there's two sides to every story. Let's hear Chris's mom and her boyfriend, Judith and Ed. Come on out. And you know it. All right, Chris. I got it first here no. about this person that you're talking about that he supposedly beat. I talked to her mother-in-law on the phone before I got here, and he didn't touch her. His. Oh. See, so you telling uh, all I his, 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 right his friends? Fifty of his friends are lying. Their address, and you go talk to. No, I don't give a about where. Nonsense, is lying. Ex-wife. Beat his wife more than once, and I can prove that. He never I, touched her. I never this ain't about. No, it ain't. This is about you. I don't do a thing, Chris. I don't. I would like to have you. you will do. I would like to have you tell me what you really me. got wrong with me. I never said he We're hasn't touched you. All this he never would. Else. Tell me what. How, how do you know that? I've lived with him for eleven months. I know this guy. Uh, eleven months. What does that matter? What about? It's a perfect person, right? A mistake. Physically, you made a mistake, you can do it again. No, maybe I can, yeah, but I made a mistake no. the first and the second time. I'm sorry. But we do make mistakes. People can make let mistakes, me, but I don't want to see you get let hurt. Let me again. ask you. I'm not going to get hurt. Do you feel that he's too controlling? 
No. You do not feel. No. I, do you I ever love feel? spending 24 hours a day with this man. He's a very loving, compassionate, caring person. You don't feel any fear of him hurting you in any no. way? No. He wouldn't hurt anybody. Okay. Have I would you just, ever I would just mess around with a kid out there playing with her. I, I don't want to hurt nobody. I'm never going to hurt anybody. What about I'll tell the you thing what, if he wants me to leave, I'll leave. No, but tell me okay? about the thing at the... I love her enough for that, I'll leave her. If she wants me to leave, and he wants me to leave, tell me, I'll leave. Tell me about the thing in the skating rink. <laughs> no, I already talked to her girlfriend on the phone, and I you asked her what if this happened. I said, look, I says, I'm not going to get mad at you or anything. I says, I'd like to know exactly what happened. She goes, the only thing I can think of is when we were lining up against the banister type thing, watching the skating rink, um, Chris was here, she was here, Ed was here, and I was here, and his arm was around me. And somehow she got the impression that he brushed her with her hand. His no. hand was on my shoulder. We was on roller skates, okay? You ever been roller skating? You get this very big thing, you roller skate around. Jeff, what do you think of this? Think this is your sister. <laughs> That's pretty disgusting, for real. I mean, I don't have, uh, she can live her own life, and you know, her father can live his own life, but. What bugs me the most is she is being neglected. You know, before my sister came along, you know, he'd come over, pick her up, take her out to he eat, take her out shopping. Anymore. You know, they just spend time together. And now, I mean. So it's the story that we heard at least twice before that, that you feel that he is. I'm just scared he's going to get hurt mainly because I know how she is. She's sneaky. Uh, I, I have to clear ago. up the. Do you mind if I bring her out? Because I want to clear up sure. that she tried to kill her first husband. That's what we heard. That's what we've heard. Kanitha, will you come on out? <laughs> Kanitha, did you try to kill your first husband? I was playing on it. <laughs> I really had somebody come on television tell me they were planning on killing somebody. You want to tell she me taste, about it? Uh, well, wait, wait, taste. wait. Let, let her explain to me why you were planning to kill your husband. <laughs> For some money. For some money? Yeah. Can you explain what you mean by money? He has life insurance on him, so I was going to take it. She just married him for his money in the first place. She chased him with a butcher knife. I saw her chasing him with a butcher knife before. So was no, wait, wrong with wait, that? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Kanitha, let me understand something. You married this man and you had an insurance policy, and you're telling me that you honestly planned on killing him? Yeah, but it backfired, so. How did it, no. back, how did it backfire? How did it backfire? <laughs> well, the two guys that I was going to have it done with, by, the other guy had went off and said something to Jimmy, so mm -hmm. it's not done. He okay. ain't dead. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in now. prison now. Next, who's in prison? Her ex husband, the one that she. Why is why is he in prison if she tried to kill him? I have no idea. I have no idea. Kanitha, what are your feelings for her dad? I love him. I really right. do. Y'all yeah, can believe it or not, I do love him. There's a 20 some odd uh, years difference. 28. There's years no difference. way she can love so, him. How could she I love him. So keep your mouth how could she shut, okay? I man? am talking. Old she's enough to be your question. dad. He so is old up. enough to be your dad. Oh, God. <laughs> How could she lay in bed with a man old enough to be her dad? It's, it's disgusting. It makes me want to throw up. Don't worry I about it. I can't stand it. Don't worry about it. I can't stand calling over there. You need there. to be worried about your own life besides my life. I don't have a problem okay. in my life. And the only time you come problem. around your dad you ain't when got you a job. want money, honey. You ain't got a car. There's so much going on here. I think a lot of the things that are going on is nobody really planned for the introduction of these people into the lives with all of these young people. I think we're hearing so much pain. Whenever anybody loses something, there's an introduction. Everybody here has lost something. These girls are very fearful that they've lost their father, and their experience is that they've lost their father. Whether or not you think that by changing your behavior and writing to them or not writing to them, they have been abandoned once by their first father. You were their father, and you are their father. 
and the relationship that's going on, it's so tense. And I think that you're kind of brought in and dragged in, and it is between the two of you, you and your two daughters, first. So she was right. It is between the two girls. But and you see, none of these is in isolation. None of these, none of these are in isolation. Also, whether my dad would have been in there or not. But you see, all of these issues are very complex. I think that Angela is really in pain. She never met Jackie, and yet was was ripe to hate her. There's not been any sense of who these people are as individuals. Nobody really knows who they are. They just hate each other and they can't stand each other. Chris would like to have a relationship, I think, with his mother. You, you had a relationship with Ed at one point. You're fearful that your mother's going to get hurt. You have a history of knowing that your mother has not been treated well by men, that you've had difficult relationships in the past. But nobody's really talking about what your fears are. You said, this is the first time you spoke to each other. On television, you've been living together for 11 months. There has to be some approach to get together, to talk to each other. You can't just expect that people are going to love each other because they come into each other's lives. It's totally unrealistic. It's totally unrealistic. And I have to say to you, you know, Kenitha 